Welcome to Alog Radio, virtual radio station. You're listening to Alog Radio, and if you're new to this, it's a chill out radio station, a virtual radio station that will bring you entertainment through facts and help you to relax. This is my first recording for the month of May. So the topic I'm going to be talking about today is May. So firstly we have Theresa May. Theresa May is the second female leader of the UK. She was born on the 1st of October 1956. She worked in the Bank of England from 1985 to 1997 I believe when she became elected in the 1997 uh, in the cabinet. And I think the role was for the clearing services and the payment services in the Bank of England. And it was like a BACS system. And she had a number of roles there, I I believe, and a lot of responsibilities. Her last role was Home Secretary. And it's historically quite a difficult job to do because uh, you cover many areas, many responsibilities uh, in in the Cabinet. So you're... uh, you got to deal with policing, all the public sector, the nurses, um, maybe not so much the nurses because it comes under health, but the, even she has covered that as well, and also uh, a number of roles to do with um, uh, public uh, civil matters. So it's quite a difficult job, and it's uh, some might argue it's equally as difficult as being a PM. If you're wondering why I'm talking about Theresa May, it's because her surname is May and my topic today is May, the month of May and anything connected to it like May, Theresa May and Brian May. I'm hoping that you're chilled out now and you're relaxed and you've forgotten all your stress and if you haven't, uh, take a deep breath, breathe in, breathe out and try and enjoy the facts that I'm feeding to you now but if you're not just to take a pause for a minute take a deep deep breath and then breathe in and breathe out going back to Theresa May she's been in government since uh, 1997 and she was an MP in Maidenhead and she was brought to the cabinet uh, for some time as well uh, because of her background in the Bank of England and her roles in uh, in that kind of area, she's been uh, trusted with uh, the party for quite some time. She's been Transport Secretary at some point also. Her father was a vicar and he was in the Church of England for quite some time as well. She's the only child of that married Her father died in a car accident and her mother died of multiple sclerosis. I didn't realise multiple sclerosis causes death but it did anyway in her mum. While May was the Home Secretary in 2013 she banned the drug CAT. Uh, CAT is like a plant or a leaf that you chew in your mouth and it creates a feeling of euphoria similar to what you get if you have a very very strong coffee. Like, you know, if you go to Starbucks and you have, like, the double Americano or something like that, like a strong Americano, and it's like that, but it's much, it's, it's stronger than that. A lot of uh, East European, East Africans would um, chew it because it grows quite a lot in the, in the, those countries. And also in Israel, it's legal, I think. You can still chew it. But here in the UK, you can, it's actually illegal to chew cats in your mouth. It's actually classed as a drug, a C-class drug. Uh, It's got the same uh, status as uh, cannabis. She's more famous for promising to bring down immigration to tens of thousands and not being able to do that because of uh, red tape, because of, you know, we're in the EU. There's uh, uncontrolled immigration. Uh, There's freedom of movement. So no matter what you do, you can't really promise to bring immigration down to tens of thousands. Because if 100,000 Europeans want to come, they can come. You can't stop them. Uh, We've left the EU recently, and she's supported that. She's like a convert Brexiteer now. 
but she was the Home Secretary when immigration was soaring high. She was also the Home Secretary when Abu Qatada was uh, extradited to Jordan, and that case I remember was very, very challenging because uh, the European uh, Court of Human Rights was interfering. They were saying that he'd be tortured, or they had evidence based on torture, and it would, you wouldn't get a fair trial and stuff like that. And what she she uh, had to go to Jordan and get them to sign. Uh, an agreement that they wouldn't use evidence obtained from torture and they wouldn't torture him and she did a lot of uh, uh, running around and then she got him uh, ev evicted from the UK he was a radical cleric he was teaching everyone that the West should be killed that we're uh, Kufar and all that we're demons and we're um, uh, supposed to be murdered and a lot of home secretaries tried to get him extradited because he was uh, preaching hatred of them. I hope you're relaxed right now and as you know this video is here to make you feel relaxed. If you're not relaxed enough remember to deep in, uh, breathe in deeply through your nose, breathe out slowly through your mouth, take deep breaths and try and distance yourself from whatever's bothering you. Uh, mentally and try and zoom into this and uh, enjoy the facts and I'll continue now with uh, Brian May the musician because his surname's May and it's the month of May and it's my first video in May Brian May was the acoustic guitarist for the band Queen uh, the band singer was Freddie Mercury I remember quite well I actually met Brian May once by accident because I was walking through Tottenham Court Road and I went into a music shop and I was looking around and then I just saw him, he just walked in and you couldn't mistake him because he has that perm, you know, that, that he has on his head. He's got like curly hair and he's got, and he's quite tall. And I said, oh, are you Brian May? And he goes, yeah, yeah, I'm Brian May. And I shook his hand, he's got huge hands, his hands are bigger than my hands, and my hands are huge. And I shook his hand. I don't know how he managed to play the guitar with those big hands. Actually, you know, he made his own guitar uh, called the Red Special. Maybe that's why he made it himself, because maybe the other guitars are too small for him. Anyway, he's a tall guy, he's got big hands. I shook his hand. I said, what are you up to these days? He says, I'm into physics now. I thought he was joking, but I found out later that he actually is a physics professor at a university. I never asked him for his autograph because I, I wasn't expecting to see him and I didn't expect, uh, I, I don't usually, I don't ask for, for autographs anyway because I don't believe in that. I don't believe that anyone should be treated any sp more special than anyone else. He was born on the 19th of July 1947 and that's very close to my birthday. It's just uh, less than a week of my after my birthday which is on the 15th of July. He was friends with Freddie Mercury uh, and uh, they formed a band called Smile and they changed their name to Queen but they're originally called Smile and Roger Taylor was th with the band. There was another guy that left and they were replaced with the bass guitarist. He's half Scottish and half English and he has a lot of a large mathematical background. He studied maths and physics uh, as A levels and he he, I think he has a uh, degree in physics and and now he's a professor of astrophysics so when he told me he was into physics I thought he was joking but he wasn't he was serious he was really uh, is into physics and I think he, he's an activist as well he actually goes around he, uh, to protect wildlife he likes uh, I think he was fam he, he was on the news for trying to stop the cull of the badgers because they were blamed for giving tuberculosis to cattle and he tried to stop them being killed so he, he's a he's a nice guy anyway he's trying to he's trying to uh, protect nature trying to uh, stop people from interfering with the natural world and he's uh, so he's an activist and he, he 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 did lots of shows and he's a brilliant musician as you know the month may is associated with spring and 
For the rest of this May, I'll remain diligent to make many of these broadcasts and I'll bring you into a zone of relaxation and joy and happiness. Throughout the rest of this month, I'll remain diligent to make many of these videos. If I can, I'll make it every single day and I hope to find other people that enjoy this video. Ultimate goal of Alog Radio is to become a real radio station. A radio station where you forget all your problems and you forget all your stresses and you forget all the bad memories that you have and you forget about being miserable and you just listen to amazing stories and amazing facts and you take a walk down awesome avenue. Feel welcome to subscribe to this channel or to follow wherever this video appears and be amazed because this month I will make many videos like this and many documentaries and I'll blow your mind and I'll take you away from stress. Until next time, goodbye.